Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52 Round of 16 match between World Sitar and his Orcs and Alma Forever and his Dark Elves. In the booth with me is Dimmy G and Fymir. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was not blue the ball. <laughs> I'm just cutting it short. I'm just cutting it short because this is a replay after all, so we don't have the full time. <laughs> this game looks especially interesting because there is a very powerful orc team with uh, lots of mighty blow of guard. But the dark elves are already losing players, so yeah, that's uh, oh standard. And this game is dedicated to our viewers in Grenada, in the Caribbean. Mm. With the national flower, the Wu Rayenbillea, and the national dish is the Oil Down, which mm. probably could explain why the Americans invaded it uh, in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, this is the, this maybe is the the weakest. Yeah, it's not as guard laden as. Um, it could be. It's not as Garland as Ducky's team, but and you know the the um, Black Oaks aren't as amazing as the Black Oaks on the other two two teams. But it's still pretty decent, and Will Tatar's been played very well this run, I think. He's a really good player, right? He's uh, mm. I think he's in the top ten of all time for records, or he definitely is in certain races. I think he's in the top ten, but I'm not sure. Mm. <clears throat> Yeah, he's missing guard on both both of these black oaks, but one's on thirteen, so hopefully he can level him this game. <laughs> oh, oh, pardon. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me, pardon me, but yeah. This Delph team is—he's uh, got mighty blow on the witch and on the blitzer. Yeah. I'm guessing the blitzer rolled mighty blow first. I'm guessing the blitzer's been around a bit longer. Hmm. Maybe not, actually. Mm, but I'm not sure about the Mighty Blow then on the Witch, if there was already a Mighty Blow on the team. That's what I was questioning, like, because it's Mighty Blow first skill on the Witch, but there is two Witches, so maybe it's the second Witch, but who knows? Who knows? The Russians do love their Mighty Blow, though, don't they? So Yeah, yeah. I would prefer it for a Witch, you know, Juggernaut, because with the French, you, take, uh, you can make much more use of it. Mm. Yeah. Especially if you already have a Mighty Blow piece. Hmm. It depends, doesn't it, on when you get the skills, right? Yeah. yeah. So there is a wizard in play for the Dark Elves as well. So he looks like he's going full five man X cage, isn't it? X cage. No, no, he's uh, no, he's not. Okay. Looked like he was gonna, but he didn't. Yeah, he, he fooled me with the, uh, the the three corners and then. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Psych you out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe he made the three corners, then realised there was a wizard and thought, "Whoops, can't do that." <laughs> yeah, well, he, he he clearly knew there was a wizard last time, and that's why he caged the ball the way he did. So then, yeah, maybe like that's the thing with a wizard; you have to keep reminding yourself that. Uh, uh, hang on, Alma. Sorry. So you're a Russian Spanish guy from Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Alma, he Spanish? Alma, some, sometimes, you know, at some point you're going to have to explain people properly how, how this thing works. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I thought you were in Russia. But you weren't Russian. But I never knew you were uh, from Liverpool. Yeah, I never Fucking knew Liverpool. Scouser. Yeah, I never knew Liverpool. Fucking Scouser. <laughs> Outrageous. Oh, I was a sc so, so, hang on. So he was born in Spain, lived in Russia, and now lives in Liverpool. Or was it born in Russia, lived in Spain, and now lives in Liverpool? What? Where's the, I didn't know the Spain. I didn't know about the Spain. Well, he's PI, wasn't he, Alma? Was Alma or Mariah got him mixed up with somebody else? I thought Alma was PI for a bit. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to call the Interpol. They can decide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> There's, there's a lot of information about Blood Bowl in my head, uh, but some things do escape me on the rare occasion. <laughs> and I might, but I thought Hoily Boy won Chalice and announced that he won Chalice, and then he popped up in my chat going, I never won Chalice, you knob. Ooh, <laughs> which death? Um, dead, maybe dead, you have dead. to eat it. Oh. He's got to eat it, surely. Yeah, it, yeah. Oh no, he's appoed it. And he shouldn't have appoed it because oh, he's he rolled it. Oh my god, he fireballed five and they all resisted. 
Oh my Whoa. god. So these orcs may not be as good as the other orcs we've seen, but they are fire resistant. Yep, and the apple failed. So the apple failed, and then the, the fireball failed all five. Flip me. That Wait. is... That well, is... There's too much going on. She's Russian, but they speak Spanish. Who do you mean? Your mother? <laughs> His wife. It says that I'm in Russia uh, from Liverpool. Uh, Alma is my wife's old game attack. Ah. Mm. Oh, so every time you've lost a game of Blood Bowl, it was your wife. <laughs> and every time you've won, it's you. I get it now. I get oh, it. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, I've seen this before. Alma, you should stream with a mop. <laughs> <laughs> Lose two on the LOS, one in 36. Yeah, it's been brutal, Ducky. It's been an absolutely brutal start for the Dark Elves. Yeah. And they're probably... But like, I, I would say they're probably behind in the matchup from the start, barring the Wizards. And then the Wizards completely flopped, and now they're massively behind, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, this is... And this is the more obvious dicing, isn't it? I think I think Andy's was yeah. more subtle, whereas this is a <laughs> pretty blatant This is just blatantly dicing. obvious, yeah. And throw into the mix with all that, you are playing against World Sitar, who is one of the best players in the game. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, it is a bad day to be... Is that... Gang can? Oh, I don't know. I, I can't do Russian alphabet, so. Well, thanks. Uh, we have uh, Alma forever here, so we can, uh, he can tell us. Uh, he can ask his wife to uh, tell us uh, how you pronounce that. <laughs> yeah? It's, I, I'm not even going to attempt it, because, uh, again, because. <laughs> 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 But it's not over. Don't say it's over. Random cast. Ooh, there you go, my it. glow. Bosh. Badly hurt. Apple comes in. Nothing worse than not being able to concede turn two. Oh. No. We haven't played each other. Not so. I thought happy. we have. I'm pretty sure. I, no, I'm pretty sure I have played armor. <laughs> <laughs> that was a plain blood ball three have some cognitive problems. <laughs> Fair. Well, you clearly you clearly knew how to roll dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't you didn't forget how to roll dice. That's that's Wait, he can't Apo now, Volk, because he used it on the witch. Or did you mean the witch? No, he said I'd be tempted to not Apo oh, as the orcs, orcs yeah, because it was a badly hurt. I would also oh, I boring. would also be tempted to not apple there because I would try and be greedy but seeing as I've got so far ahead, right? The oh. the cars and the whiz got the, the cars and the whiz burn. I'd be tempted to uh, be a bit greedy there. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be greedy here. Yeah. Let's see if it comes back to bite him in the bottom. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Don't you love it when you frenzy and you don't pow and it's your blitz that you have to dodge away? That's uh, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> well, he doesn't have tackle though, so he was fishing for a pow. Mm. Obviously, run out of bait. Oh, hey. Necro plays, yeah. Yeah, proper, proper necro blitz. Opportunity, yeah, it was an opportunity. Oh, yeah. Oh dear. I feel like we are going in now for the herp derp. Mm. I mean, like, you could run away and just play the score on your drive and take it to overtime and pray for the win. Yeah, but he's he's I 11 guess, men, he's 11 men. Yeah. He's tackle, jump up, tackle, pommer. With frenzy, not tackle. Psychopath, jump yeah. Up, jump up, frenzy, pawn. Well, there you go, instant cars. So yeah, it's real hard. To, like I think, I think if anything, maybe. It's, but then you can't put him around the back. You want to put him around the back, but if you put everything around the back, then you just leave him front. So it's really tough. I think it was right to go for it. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Is it over now? It doesn't. It doesn't look great uh, for the Delfs, but I am struggling to see. It's Where the ball's over. going. It's never over. Don't say it's over. <laughs> it does, doesn't it, Calcium? Yeah, way better than Blood Bowl 3. 
Oh, it gets the full power. Where's the ball going? Good question. Our dark I is better in three than two. Yeah, probably. Ah, oh, okay. Assisting with the ball carrier. <laughs> that has never, never won wrong. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kaz. Whoa. Oh wow, he assisted with the ball carrier next to a guard player <laughs> on the prone on the floor. Okay. And then of course the foul works. I'm sorry, that that one upset me a little bit, guys. <laughs> that one got me a little bit. <laughs> oh, oh, calcium in the house. Hello, Kaz. Question for you, calcium. Are you coming to Nikon, also also known as the main event of UKTC? Mm. The main event. Oh, calcium. And I mean, the main reason I'm going is for the Nikon. The fact that the UKTC happens at the same time is just all right. <laughs> yeah, this is this is verging on insanity dicing, but at the moment it's just comedy mega. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, you, are you going kill on? No, I think he was saying yep to. Is this a dicing? Um... I believe. Having having heard Kalon. Oh wow, oh. both down one in nine into one in thirty-six and oh. now all of a sudden don't say it's oh. over. But we've got a one D on the ball with a with a yeah, with this guy out of the way. Yep, one D on the ball, very exciting. This is a chance or oh, that is gonna hit it. Is it? Yeah. Yes, very easy to D on the ball. Oh, right, I see, yeah, but then there's no recovery, right? He can do it himself, can't he? As he, he can do it himself, so he's going to knock him down? Yeah. I mean, like, towards... Oh, he's got knocked him that <laughs> way. Imagine if he caught it! <laughs> there we go. So, I think I would have knocked him down. I know it doesn't... No, oh, I think that's right, yeah, I think that's right to knock him down. More chance to get it free and uh, get a pick-up. And then potato. Where's oh, that bomber? Wall sit oh. in a wall of trouble. Nah, calcium. I would also be there. I'll uh, try to deactivate um, the situation with the birdie twat. <laughs> makes makes the GFI into a full pow. No armor break, but it is turn eight, and there are dice to be rolled to get this anywhere. He's got the only scoring threat he's got is a black orc. Yeah. And there will probably be an interception. Yeah. And, uh. Oh, there's another Kaz, though. Yeah. The damage has been done. Yeah, lots of damage. Bails the dodge, so it prevents the no, score. No, no, not yet, not yet. Got it. Have oh. a roll. There's the pass. Oh, he's burnt the sixes. Oh, he doesn't Oh, get my the God! Dice it. Oh. Absolutely dice it. I can't keep watching these poor orcs. <laughs> what a horrible uh, hunt for the orcs. I'm gonna make a coffee. Yeah, World Sitar must be fuming. <laughs> <laughs> so there's still three elves on the pitch. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it's it's funny because the the more the chips are down, the more chances you get to like play well, if you like, isn't it? Because like you know things are terrible, so you've got to. Um... Uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Like recognizing when to high roll and stuff like that. Take the like the crazy plays that are more risky and stuff. But yeah, and then if everything goes right, all you've got to do is not fuck it up massively. So then when you do, <laughs> it looks like you played shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the wizard when he dropped it. I know, obviously, like, hindsight, he didn't knock anyone over and all that sort of thing. But in this sort of matchup, I like not using the wizard as long as possible. So if you can, like, even if you concede on the first drive, um, like, unless you get a glaring opportunity to use it, um, 
I mean, that, that was pretty good, right? Five people under it. He's on a clock. Like, the fact he's on a clock as well, you know, like, he can't win in overtime. Yeah, basically. he's on a clock, right. So, uh, so I, I quite liked it, and it was, you know, it was just unlucky, wasn't it? And, and it was a great, great point by Rick that I never really thought about was that the earlier he used the wizard, then obviously the more payoff. The cards the is around, yeah. yeah so. But that's. Rick says that because when he uses a wizard, it causes four players. Yes. When I use a wizard, it does exactly <laughs> what it happened in this game, and it doesn't even knock a single guy over. You know. So it's... when you when you uh, fireball, uh, uh, Dimi, the other players get extra skills. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> you know, like Dragon Ball C style. Mm. There's, there's, I mean, it's easy to be optimistic when everything works, right? Mm. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. And it's very hard to be optimistic when everything fails. It's just, it's a different way of looking at it, isn't it? It's like that's the that's the main. I think that's the main difference between blood bowl coaches is you've got positive coaches who like take riskier plays, um, and then you like yeah, like your crystal and your ricks, mm -hmm. and then you've got like safe. Like we're all on the spectrum of rowdy to like overly sensible. And ironically, even though Eliod is rowdy and he's got a rowdy emote and everything, he's probably one of the sen most sensible guys in Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Well, I say sensible. He's not even sensible. Like, safer. He's one of the safer ones. Yeah. And you, you would expect less rowdiness from him. And we're, we're all somewhere on that spectrum, I think. Yep. Hello, Melanie. Yeah, it's uh, been a real close one here. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the the Dark Elves have decided not to field half their team because they're saving them for the next round. Exactly, they are, yes, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, treating the Orcs as the crap they are. I mean, it should do Irish exit, but also people have their tendencies, don't they? Because, like, you know, nobody's really any good at Blood Bowl at all. Um, so, <laughs> so people just play how they want to play. <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone has like, a different way of seeing it. There is always a justification for any play anyone ever makes at Blue Bowl. They can justify it. Doesn't matter how absurd it is, people will find an explanation and tell you that the reason they did it, it was the right thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Blue Bowl 2, yeah, yeah. It seems, it seems like it's going to be much better than Blue Bowl 3. <laughs> So what are we down to? Are we down to five elves already? Yep, I think so. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. Five, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's not good, is it? It's not. This is the thing with the delves as well, is like, although they're elves, they're like one of the slower elves, right? So it's... Yep. It's just having those that tackle, isn't it? He's, he's got the two tackle players, and he's got a Palmer as well. So it's mm. we didn't see a full Daka. We didn't. But again, Dark Elves are probably the weakest elf team at Dakas, were it? Yeah, yeah. It's cool. hard to say with the frenzy though. The frenzy makes it more interesting. It does, but I definitely think it. You know, the slowness is the worst. Yeah, the speed, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Though and that is going to be the the slow the speed of elves. Uh, one of the reasons dark elves are a bit better in in Blood Bowl three is the the you know the stats the rolling stats the that can like equalize a bit right. Your blitzers can be movement nine just the same as elf catchers can. Movement nine blitzers would be insane, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're basically guaranteed. Uh, well, they're, they're, they're essentially. Guaranteed. Oh, he's actually done really well here. Yeah, yeah. He all gets four, the all five players. Yeah, really nice. Oh my god, this is actually a brilliant turn from. Um, really nice. The Delphs, yeah, uh, really like this turn. Yeah, it doesn't even GFI because it doesn't have to. Lots of you know what? For the <clears throat> Dark Elf coach, because in other circumstances, you know, I wouldn't be surprised here. There's Alt F4 uninstall. I think I, I think one of the game. <clears throat> I think I would have run that loner further up the pitch rather than back. And uh, the reason for why is is I want the stand firm guard guy blitzing up and to the left rather than down and to the left towards the ball. Mm. So 
Like, and if he doesn't blitz him up and to the left, then, you know, you've got an out. Um, whereas, I think you're going to see in a minute that he's definitely going to blitz that guy, which is bringing him... Oof. Oh, he's going straight in. Wow. Holy moly, I didn't see that one coming. No, I, I, I think the tackler shouldn't have blitzed at all, because now Alma can turn the corner, can't he? Is this Alma, is it? Is it? Oh, that's what he was saying, that Alma's his wife's gamer name. Yeah. Oh my god, I've only just <laughs> got it. Jimmy. You get it now. <laughs> you get it now. What the hell? Why are making, we have been making jokes about that more or less since the beginning. <laughs> Alma's here. Alma's here. <laughs> Mate, people with multiple names on Blood Bowl should be, like, sacked from CCL. They shouldn't be allowed to play. Amazing. Flash rod, yep, stay up. <laughs> oh, the chair! Oh, God. And, yes, Ducky, movement up is 20k in, uh, in Blood Bowl 3. Oh, Jimmy, do you know what I've just thought of? What? I'm going to have a Imperial Nobility Movement 9 Sneaky Git Dirty Player Blitzer. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to be amazing, Jim. It's going to be amazing. Um... Oh, wow. Well, that's almost it, isn't it? It's not what I did by the way that last turn, but... I think I'm going to do some like, GFIs and stuff to uh, kind of see. I mean, the biggest mistake that Alma did was uh, choosing the icon of Jimmy Fantastic uh, for his team. Yeah. Even if he didn't, even if he didn't, he should know how the replays work, you know, how the the Blood Bowl energies, the flow goes. Yeah. So he have to choose another uh, icon. Yeah. It was a good turn before, right? The, the thing uh, it was really the... nice. Really nice to turn before where I think could have uh, turned the corner a little bit and like got, you know, the ball here and like a screen there. But um, yeah, it's nitpicky, isn't it? Like it did it incredible with five players. He, he could say he did better with five players than he did with uh, 11. <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> nice of you to wait for half your team to get removed before you start playing Blood Bowl, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, Arma. Next time, choose another uh, icon for the team. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, next time you want to watch another stream from Jimmy, you think twice about it. <laughs> all right. So what, what did it? What did Arma say about all these mighty blow players? Very good, very good, Fanny. Uh, what about all this? He didn't say anything. He just yeah. He just yeah. That's why I didn't suspect him. <laughs> Oh, the night the time. Yeah, it's still nil nil. Yeah. One there is a. Oh. Easy, easy dodge out and one D. Oh, got the ball. Okay, not an easy one D now. Ball carrier assist, oh. classic. But yeah, if that had been a ball pickup fail, then he could have dodged out with three. Yeah. Couldn't he? Oh, just a stun. Oh, oh, I mean, that more or less uh, resumes it. <laughs> I love it. it, makes the loner into skull. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's yeah. just they just please give up. <laughs> give yeah. up already. I mean, hats off to him, so not just skipping time. Mm. Yep. But GG, that is. That is. Brutal. Brutal edition. Got his ass absolutely whooped. Handed to him. On a silver platter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Buried. <laughs> Six foot deep. Sent packing. <laughs> yeah, tough game. I mean, mm. one of the most brutal sent packings I've seen in uh, for a while. <laughs> It was, this was a setback, only two players left on the pitch at the end. 
legal concede. Hmm. I don't. Are you allowed to legal concede in Chalice? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, if the the conditions I think are exactly the same than the regular uh, season, not being able to field uh, enough players. Uh, 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 uh. I love the fact that it's the two uh, loners that are still hanging on there for. Uh, yeah. See, if you had 11 loners, he'd still have players now, you know? Yeah, absolutely. He's gonna, is he going to hand off this 13 SPP one? No. Oh my no. god. No, no not yeah, without a reroll. Not without a reroll, no. I mean, what would Rick do? Rick would 100. It would have already handed off to him. To be fair, he would have handed off like last while ago. He, he would have passed ago. it to him, mate. He yeah, well, he <laughs> with the black orcs. <laughs> I've been lobbing Flippy it around. Guys, you don't see the, this in other uh, streams. Pauli mm. with a top player, showing respect here from uh, Wolves Italia, you know, the run by the strategy. Yeah, and yeah, Corbex, that was a really surprising outcome. I'm glad I'm glad nobody spoiled the result of the match uh, before it started. <laughs> 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 I love the way that they, they may have came into chat saying, oh, can you do the replay of this game? And this is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the most intriguing way I've ever seen anyone ask for a replay before. Can you make a replay for the game I won versus... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep, that was so, something. 14 armor breaks for the orcs, which means they were absolutely deadly. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Flint, it's man. brutal. That wizard as well, that wizard was hilarious. Um, oh, it's it's here, isn't it? You can see here uh, seven KOs and four Kaz from from fourteen AV bricks. <laughs> so yeah, nearly every single one. Was but it doesn't it doesn't include the fouls there, does it? Which is it does it. yeah. I think I think it does. Uh, the because foul... is, the, is the injuries and the dead. So yeah, I think it does. But I don't think the fouls count as armor breaks. There's one thing that the fouls don't do, and it's either that or it's the armor breaks. So there, there were more armor breaks. But they're not counted in that 14, I think, yeah. um, for fouling. I, I believe it's something like that. So Yeah, something like that. I, I, I seem to remember there being something a bit dodgy. There's there. something wrong with a fouling that makes the armor breaks look worse than they are or less good as... Or the removal is less or something. But anyway, whatever it yeah. is, congratulations, Will Sitar, Commiserations Armour. Thank you very much, Dimi and Fimea, being glorious. As yeah, thanks, always... Uh... Pleasure to be here, and I hope our uh, viewers in uh, Grenada have enjoyed this absolute bloodbath of the people all, uh, from an island in the Warhammer universe. Yep. <laughs> and uh, say that because Grenada is also an island, you know. So. Yep. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.